Prince Harry has responded to the criticism he and his wife, Meghan Markle, have received this summer after choosing to travel by private jet on a number of occasions. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle sparked fury this summer the pair used private jets to travel on a number of occasions. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are both vocal on environmental issues and repeatedly spoken out on climate change. Speaking after he launched an ecotourism project on Tuesday, the Duke of Sussex explained the simple reason he would fly using a private jet. He said, I came here by commercial. I spend 99% of my life traveling the world by commercial. Occasionally there needs to be an opportunity based on a unique circumstance to ensure my family are safe and it's genuinely as simple as that. But, as I said in my speech, for me. If I have to do that, it is not a decision that I want to take, but if I have to do that, then I will ensure, as I have done previously, and as I will continue to make sure that I do, that I balance out that impact that I have. He added, I have always offset my CEO too. I think part of the group discussion that we had earlier is what is offsetting CO2. There are so many people out there that hear about it, that don't know about it. In my mind, it is the right thing to do. The 34-year-old traveled to Amsterdam to launch the Travelist partnership which is backed by some of the biggest companies in the travel industry, including Booking.com, Trip, Skyscare, TripAdvisor, and Visa. The partnership was created to promote sustainable travel by supporting local communities, protecting wildlife and tackling climate change. During his speech, Prince Harry said, I want to start with a little bit of background as to specifically why I am here today, because as you may know, I am not a tourism or business expert, but through my travels I have observed the unique relationship between community and environment, and have noticed something alarming. There wasn't the symbiosis or connection there needed to be and I wanted to understand why. I am one of those people fortunate enough to have a platform and I want to use it to tackle hard problems, in the hope of finding solutions. Over the years I've had the distinct privilege of working around the globe representing my grandmother, the Queen, throughout the Commonwealth and beyond. This role has given me a unique perspective on the issues the world faces, and an opportunity to meet a diverse range of communities, to hear them describe their problems as well as their ideas for solutions. For years I've been listening and learning. I never presume to have all the answers, but I do feel impassioned to help in any way that I can. Sometimes that means connecting people and making them aware of ideas that I've seen succeed in other places. Other times it means bringing a problem home and working it through with true experts, who have dedicated their lives to protecting our planet, or with influential people who can give time and or money in big or small ways. One thing I've learned, however, again and again, is that oftentimes the best solution comes from within, from the local community members who live and breathe it every day. But, despite his comments, ITV presenter Piers Morgan still attacked the Duke of Sussex on social media. He wrote on Twitter, Prince Harry preaching about the environment again. He can do this, or be a constant private jet setting celebrity. Not both. The criticism for traveling by private jets came after the Duke of Sussex hinted in an interview that him and his wife were only looking to have one more child for the benefit of the environment. Harry said, I've always thought, this place is borrowed. And, surely, being as intelligent as we all are, or as evolved as we all are supposed to be, we should be able to leave something better behind for the next generation. In August, Prince Harry also faced criticism after he gave a barefoot speech on saving the planet, to a group of A-list celebrities who flew in on fuel-guzzling private jets. The royal couple are currently preparing for their official South Africa tour, where the Duke will go on to carry out visits to Malawi, Angola, and Botswana. Prince Harry wrote on Instagram, In just a few weeks our family will be taking its first official tour to Africa, a region of the world that over the past two decades has been a second home to me. Our team has helped create a meaningful program that we're so excited to share with you. On a personal note, I can't wait to introduce my wife and son to South Africa. We'll see all of you very soon.